Hi everyone, welcome to Diamond Dog Training. Puzzle games, puzzle toys for your dogs. Have you ever thought about getting one for your dog and you just don't know which one to get? We have an assortment here. The Omega Paw Tricky Treat Ball, Trixie Mad Scientist, Snuffle Mat, Nina Otison the Brick, Nina Otison the Tornado, a homemade one with a muffin tin, the Licky Mat. So we're gonna show you some games today and help you decide which one might be best for your dog. First one we're gonna look at is Omega Paw Tricky Treat Ball. So all you do is you put the treats into the ball, it has an opening. We always have to have two of everything in my house. Both of them have their own method. Daisy picks hers up and drops it. Nikki uses her paws to pull it towards her and they both empty the treat balls. What a fun way to slow down your dog eating. You could put regular dog food in here. If you have a dog who is a fast eater that gulps their food, this is a great toy. Or if you have a dog who's a picky eater and your dog would enjoy the Omega Paw Tricky Treat Ball to make their dinner more interesting. You can see a video in the description below. My dogs really get excited when I say to them, want to play Trixie? Okay, so we're going to put one here for BZ and one here for Nikki. Now there are two caps to this. There's an easier cap. My dog started with the easier cap in the beginning. It just has the one hole. And then we move to the harder one, which has three holes in it. This is a fun game. It takes a little bit of time for your dog to master it. Once they do, they really enjoy it. And you can put different sized treats in and dog food. So once again, if you have a dog that's a finicky eater, you can put their dog food in. If you have a dog that is a really fast eater, this is a great one for them as well. This is the Trixie Mad Scientist. My dogs really love this one. When they reach the point where with the harder caps, the larger treats do not come out, then we switch to the easier caps. And finally, if they still can't get them out after quite a few minutes, we um, take the caps off. This is a caution with all of these games. You supervise, you watch them, and you remove them as soon as the game is finished. Our next game is Nina Otison's The Brick. It has white bones, red little boxes, and you put treats in all of them. Now, if you wanna see a video on how to teach your dog to do the brick, then I'll post it above and also in the description. So we'll give Nikki this brick, and we'll give Beezy this one. Once they get the white bones out, there are also treats in the little boxes and when you slide the little boxes, there are treats under the little boxes. So this is a great way, again, to feed your dog their meal. Take their dry dog food, put it in the box and uh, under the box and under the bones, and now your dog is enjoying their meal. Eating slower so they're not inhaling their dog food. I use my homemade dog treats I'll put a link to how to make them in the description below. And my dogs enjoy the Nina Otison dog brick. The next level of the Nina Otison toy is the tornado. It's a little more difficult. What I love about the Nina Otison games is they have different levels. This is the tornado, which is a higher level than the brick. The tornado is more difficult because Nikki has to know how to take out that top bone first. That's the only way that the blue 
level will spin. Once they get the first one out, then they can take out the treats on the first level. Once then they realize that, then they, after they finish the first level, they will remove the bone on the yellow level and take out the treats on that level and then spin it until they get to the third level and get to that bone and then take that bone out and then they can go back and take out the treats in the entire toy. This one takes a little bit more work and it took Nikki a little bit of time. But once she mastered it and knew that she had to take out all three bones, just a little bit like the brick, except it's harder. This is the Nina Otison dog tornado and the Nina Otison dog brick. Our next puzzle game is the A Wolf snuffle mat. You can make it into a flat mat or a bowl. And what you do is, if you are putting your dog's dog food in, you just drop the dog food in, or in my case, you drop in the treats. So we're gonna give Nikki the bowl, same thing, it just has a drop cord. And we're gonna give Beezy the mat. You can make it into a bowl just by pulling the drawstrings. Just makes it a little more difficult, I think, when it's a bowl. And the, the treats don't fall out. Dog food right in the little felt strips and your dog can have their dinner. You can see the snuffle mat in detail in a video that I will post in the description below. Great fun on a rainy day when you can't go out and get as much outside exercise. All these mental games are so good for your dog and they're really tiring. So your dogs are going to be more tired after doing these puzzle games than sometimes if you take them out and give them some physical exercise. This is the Licky Mat. This has raw food mixed with pumpkin. This is how my dogs get their dinner every night. I'm gonna give that one to, Lit, to Nikki. Here you go, sweetie. And give that one to Beezy. They will lick the licky mat till it's empty. And once it's empty, just make sure you pick it up. Great exercise. And the licking helps them to relax. They will finish the licky mat. Sometimes it takes them 15 minutes to eat their dinner because they're just working to get every little bit of that food out. If I really want to make it more difficult, I fill them and freeze them. They were great in the summertime when they were frozen. I hope we've given you some ideas as to which puzzle game you would like to get for your dog or for a friend's dog. It is the holidays. I'll put the link to all the puzzle games through Amazon in the description below. If you'd like to see more puzzle games, here is one on the snuffle mat and also on Trixie Mad Scientist. Another one on the Omega Paw Tricky Treat Ball. You'll see in these videos more information on how to introduce your dogs to these puzzle games. Subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, leave me a comment. What puzzle games do you have for your dogs? Thank you. Bye from Joyce and Nikki and Beezy at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.